we make of these polls when we hear them? All right, we are going to try to fix our audio issues there with Koki and head back to her in just a little bit. But in the meantime, let's switch gears to talk about the forecast today. Mm -hmm. Doug Hill here with us. Mm -hmm. uh, another kind of fall day out there. Yeah, I mean, we've got the wind, we've got clear skies, cool temperatures. And even though we're going to approach 60, there's still going to be a little bit of wind chill out there because of the gusty winds that persist. So it looks pretty good. And uh, we've got some showers coming up on Thursday. But generally speaking, pretty, uh, pretty typical early autumn weather pattern around the area. Now at noontime, temperatures range mostly through the 50s north and west of the area. 61 at Reagan National, uh, partly cloudy skies across the entire region. As far as satellite and radar goes, a couple indications of a few showers along the Great Lakes. In fact, uh, that's about it. There's no organized storm center anywhere to deal with locally, just some bands of cloudiness. So the farther south and west you are of the district today, more than likely you'll stay crystal clear all day. Northern suburbs may see a few high, thin, cirrus clouds coming overhead. Really won't have much effect on our weather pattern at all as we head through the afternoon and evening. Now, our future cast is fun to watch here as we go through the evening hours. Skies will remain clear. The winds will stay kind of gusty for a while, but then the wind speeds will diminish overnight. Temperatures will kind of really uh, tank out and uh, drop into the 30s in many suburban areas. As we get through the day tomorrow, after a chilly start, we'll start to see a little bit of a warm up here. You start to get a little indication of a little more uh, rain activity uh, moving across sections of southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. It'll sweep through by midday into the Chicago area and then eastward towards Detroit. And that's a pattern we're going to watch here for Thursday, a cold front that is uh, probably going to produce scattered showers around the area, especially through the afternoon and evening hours. So pretty quiet until then. Then we'll kind of get a little reinforcing shot of cooler temperatures as we head through this upcoming weekend. So here we are at six o'clock tomorrow night. Clear skies to the south and the north and we have a little band of cloudiness coming in. And then eventually Thursday, this becomes a little mover and shaker. It's interesting that uh, in some computer models, they suggest maybe a little snow or a little mix when you get into New York, especially upstate New York from this frontal zone where there is somewhat colder air here. Just some scattered showers as we head through a midday and especially afternoon and evening hours on Thursday and then behind that front another spell of very pleasant autumn weather around here. So we'll take it hour by hour through the day for most of the region will be sunny for all of the region will be breezy and it will be cool with high temperatures somewhere around the 60 degree mark. Our average high now is about 66 degrees so a little below with those northwesterly winds. Our forecast through the overnight 33 to 42 degrees mainly clear a freeze watch north and west of the metro area and the key here is lights. The stronger the winds are the more it mixes up the air and reduces the chance of any frost. Now we don't see frost within the beltway or even in the metropolitan area but just to the north and west we do expect some frost in areas from uh, Frederick County, Maryland, Carroll County and then westward uh, towards uh, Hagerstown and Washington County, some areas southwest as we head towards the uh, Blue Ridge and beyond. 37, a forecast low in the morning in Manassas, 38 degrees in Culpeper, 37 degrees in Baltimore, 42 even at Reagan National Airport, 44 degrees in Annapolis. And here is the uh, frost advisory overnight uh, in effect till early tomorrow morning, about 3, 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. And you see the counties indicated here. It's just a matter of time before we get our first uh, frost watch of the season, probably coming within the next uh, week to 10 days, I would guess. Again, it's localized across the area tomorrow morning. Our forecast for uh, tomorrow, sunny, breezy, cool, increasing clouds late in the day, highs to about 57 degrees. The uh, forecast for uh, Halloween Hustle 5K on Saturday morning in Montgomery Village. Great weather for running temperatures in the low 50s with plenty of sunshine. Marine Corps Marathon forecast Sunday again. Great weather conditions with sunshine and temperatures in the 50s. All right, the next seven days, the chance of rain 60% on Thursday with a cold front. Friday looks nice. The weekend looks good. Maybe a late day shower isolated in the area on Sunday, 68. And we're still looking good for trick or treat on Monday evening with temperatures of trick or treat time in the 50s with partly cloudy skies. Okay, well, that's decent Happy weather. Happy with that? Yeah, to sit outside and pass out candy. Yeah, there you go. I'm excited. All right. <laughs> Doug, thank you. Okay. Well, coming up next at noon, holy cow, Cubs and Indians in the World Series tonight. We've got a look at game one next. Plus seven is on your side tonight for anyone shopping for insurance. This evening, we'll have a panel of insurance agents here to answer any questions you have about property, car, life, and health insurance. Expert advice, and it's all free for you. Tune in to ABC7 News starting at 4 o'clock to find out more about how you can participate in our 7 on your side phone bank. We'll be right back.
Network can find you. Why can't 911? Thursday at 11. While others seek to divide us, I get results that unite us. I've worked with Democrats and Republicans to get results for Northern Virginia. I've listened to you. That's why I want tax relief, so you keep more of what you earn. For healthier families, I'm working to advance 21st century cures for deadly diseases. Like you, I want a strong national defense to keep us safe and protect local jobs. I'm Barbara Comstock, and I approve this message because working together works. Medical-related emergencies are on the rise. One in three people over the age of 64 will fall.